Hello, my dear viewers. Let's have now factoring sum and difference of two cubes. In finding the factors of sum and difference of two cubes, we should remember that there are two factors. The first factor is a binomial, and the second factor is a trinomial. Let's have example number one. x cubed plus y cubed. First, let's find the three equal factors of our first term. So the three equal factors of x cubed are x times x times x. And for the second term, we have y cube. And the three equal factors of y cube are y times y times y. After getting the factors of each term, we can find now easily the factors of the two cubes. So, by using the first pair, x and y, we have now the first factor, which is a binomial. So, x and y. The question is, what is the operation of our binomial? Since the given is plus, our first factor should be plus. For the second factor, we are going to use now the second pair. So that is x and x. x times x, that is x squared. Then, let's use the third pair. So, y times y is y squared. How can we get now the middle term of our trinomial factor? So, by using the first pair, x and y, multiply the two. So, x times y, that is x y. And since this is plus, the operation for the second factor should be minus and plus. And this is now our factors of x cubed plus y cubed. For example, number two, what if the given is minus? So x cubed minus y cube. Again, let's find the factors of our first term. So the factors of x cube are x times x times x. And for the factors of our second term, which is y cube, are y times y times y. After getting the factors, we can get now the two factors of our given. So, let's use the first pair. Our first pair is x and y. So, place it here, x and y. Since the given is minus, our first factor should be minus. And how about for the second factor, which is a trinomial? Let's use again the second pair. So x times x, that is x squared. And for the third pair, that is y times y equals y squared. And what will be our middle term here? Let's multiply again the first term. So x times y we have xy, and since the operation of our first factor is minus, our second factor should be both plus. And this is now the factors of our y cubed minus 
of x cube minus y cube. For example, number 3. x cube plus 27. So let's find again the factors of our first term. So x cubed should have three equal factors, and that is x times x times x. How about for 27? It should be three equal factors. Come to think of it, what are the factors of 27? So that is 3 times 3 times 3. And then, let's use now the first pair. So our first pair is x and 3. Since our operation is plus, our first factor will become plus. And... By using the second pair, x squared, and for our third pair, that is 3 times 3 equals 9. What should be the middle term again? So let's multiply the first pair. So that is x times 3, we have now 3x. Next problem is, what should be the operation in between? Since this is plus, it should be minus and plus. And we have now the factors of x cubed plus 27. It's just easy, right? So let's have example number 4. 64 minus x cubed. Let's find the factors again of 64. So what are the factors or three equal factors of 64? And those are 4 times 4 times 4. And for x cubed, we have now x times x times x. Then, let's find the factors of the given. So, by using the first pair, 4 and x. So, let's place it here. Our given is minus. So, the operation of the first factor should be minus. Let's find now the three terms of the second factor. So, use again the second pair. 4 times 4, that is 16. And for our third pair, x times x, that is x squared. What should the middle term again? So you, let's use again the first pair. So 4 times x, that is 4x. And since this is minus, your operations of the second factor should be both plus. And here, it's just easy. Let's proceed now to the example number 5. Eight y cubed plus 125. So let's find the factors or three equal factors of 8 cubed. So our 8 cube has factors of 2y times 2y times 2y. And for 125, the factors should be 5 times 5 times 5. After getting the factors of each term, we can find now the factors of the sum of two cubes. 
And by using the first pair, our first factor is 2y plus 5. And for the trinomial factor, let's multiply the second pair. 2y times 2y, so that is 4y squared. And for our third pair, 5 times 5, so that is 25. And what will be our middle term? Let's simply multiply the first pair. 2y times 5, we have 10y. And what should be the operation of our third or our last factor? Since this is plus, it should be minus and plus. And here we go. Done for the example number five. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned from this lesson. Please subscribe and share it to your friends.